G'day and welcome to MW Laser. In this video, we're going to have a look at upgrading this Leetro controller to the new CloudRay Ruida RDC 6432G. So the Leetro controller requires its own software and a um, licensing dongle in order to operate, and we're not able to use it with Lightburn software. Because 32-bit systems are harder and harder to find, it's time to upgrade to something uh, that is more compatible with um, RDWorks and Lightburn and can run on a 64-bit system. So over the past few months I've been developing this document which is a upgrade guide to converting from the Leetro to the Ruida controller. It's got some wiring diagrams in there for Air Assist and all the different connections for the X, Y and Z axes. And then the configuration of your controller after you've completed the uh, wiring installation. It's a useful document if you're planning to do this upgrade. You'll find a link to this document in the description below. I want to say that the purpose of this video is not to provide a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide to upgrading the controller. I will show you how to go about it. The documentation that I've put together uh, will help you with this. Now, you will need to prepare for the controller upgrade to see how your machine is currently configured and where possible take notes of your current setup and settings to help with a smooth transition to the new controller. Now, you may not need that documentation that I've put together to perform this upgrade if you have the time to sit down and figure out the connections for yourself. However, this guide that I've put together should help make the upgrade easier. I'd like to note though, although I have assisted with upgrading from Leetro to other controllers such as the Trocen and the Ruida on many machines now, and I've performed this upgrade on this machine for the purpose of this video, the documentation is to be used as a guide only, and some machine configurations are different from what I actually may present here on the video or in the documentation. So this is our main board and we have the USB cables connected on the side. Now these are already connected to terminals on the side of the uh, chassis of the machine. So what we can do is reuse those cables, but we remove the uh, human interface or the control panel cable all the way through to the control panel on the top of the laser machine. So if your wire terminals don't have any labels on them, I recommend labeling them so that you don't lose track of these connections when we're trying to rewire to the new mainboard. And then you can completely remove the Leetro controller ready to put the new one in. Now there is a wiring diagram of this uh, in the documentation with all the different terminals to help you rewire to the new mainboard. So this is the new mainboard we're putting in here, the Ruida RDC 6432G. Now the terminal blocks on these are slightly different to the ones that we've uh, removed from the Leetro controller, so we'll need to rewire those into the new terminal blocks. So in the documentation I've got reference for two types of controllers, the RD644X, which includes the 45 and the 42, as well as the new one from CloudRay, the RDC6432G, and you can follow along with this documentation to wire to the correct connections on the new mainboard. So to remove the old control panel, just undo the screws underneath or the nuts underneath and the panel should lift up. Disconnect the HMI cable that goes down to the main controller board. And this slides out. This is slightly smaller than the new controller, so you may need to just shave a little bit off the bottom edge in order to fit the new controller in. So what we can do is feed up the um, controller that connects into the HMI or the control panel. Connect it into the HMI socket. And that fits in there nicely. And the other end of the HMI cable plugs into the mainboard controller down here. So when you first turn on the controller it's in Chinese and we need to change it to English. To do that press menu, press the down arrow once, onto the second selection press enter, on the first selection press enter and then you can choose your language here. So the second one down is English, press enter and then we'll see that everything is now in the English language. To configure the controller for the steps for the axis and the length and the breadth of our work area, as well as other laser settings, we need to configure that using RDWorks. Now we need to connect to the software first, so install RDWorks. The download is available at rd-acs.com or mwlaser.com.au. 
Now you connect via Ethernet or USB. The easiest is just to connect a PC via USB to the connection on the side of the machine. If you need to configure an IP address for the controller first, we go into the menu. We go down to controller settings, press enter, and we go down to the IP configuration and press enter. And here you can enter the IP address on the network that you want it to be, and then you write that to the controller. Now on my YouTube channel you'll find this video here called Ruida Controller Configuration of Vendor Tools. You'll need to follow this in order to set up the uh, size of the machine itself as well as other settings for your laser controller. Now if you'd like to do your configuration in Lightburn rather than RD Works, this is possible. You go into Edit, Machine Settings, read the information from the controller. You'll say Controller Settings read successfully and you can change the values that are discussed in the video but they'll be just found in a different location here and here we have our vendor settings as well as our x y and z axis and our laser settings are right down the bottom where we can enter the values in there once you've finished make sure that you write that information back to your controller to save them into the mainboard so in the documentation I explain what the uh, different vendor settings are and how to configure those but uh, use that documentation as well as the video on my YouTube channel on vendor settings on how to configure your new machine. And once you've done that then we can have a look at the controller itself and how to test to make sure everything is working correctly. Uh, there's also videos there on how to calibrate your X and Y axis which is uh, recommended after an upgrade. To test all the limit switches and safety switches such as your water protect and your X and Y axis, we can go into the menu, go across to function set, press enter, and go up once to diagnosis, press enter. So we can see here that we have a red light on WP which is water protect and that's because the water is not running. So we'll now turn on the water and watch that this light actually turns off, which means it's functioning correctly. And if you have a proximity sensor, then what you'll need to do is use a metal screwdriver or something similar to tap onto the proximity sensor to see if these illuminate, which is what I'll do now. After you've installed the air assist, you can test your connections again in the diagnosis menu. So we'll go to menu, go across to function set and press enter, and then go to the diagnosis option and press enter. Down the bottom here, we have the outputs. So we can go down to the air assist or status output. And if we press enter on that, if it's correct, it will start our air pump and our exhaust fan, which we can hear there now that has come on and while that's on we can also go across to auxiliary air and if we press enter it will open up the solenoid valve for the air so you can hear that clicking on and off. I hope this video helps in making the choice to upgrade from the Litro controller to a new RD controller. As I mentioned earlier the Litro controller in this video only runs on a 32-bit Windows our system and requires proprietary software and a licensed dongle or USB key in order to operate. And it's not compatible with Lightburn software. The benefit of Lightburn software is compatible with uh, both Windows and OS X. Now the new RDC6432G controller from Ruida shown in this video is available from Cloudray Laser and is suitable for a machine with a single CO2 laser tube. If you require a dual CO2 laser tube controller, then I recommend the RDC 6445G. Thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, then hit the subscribe button. Click on that notification bell to be notified when I release new videos. And until next time, take care. Cheers.